you know for me weeding is like a metaphor for life you want to get the weeds while they're little you want to get rid of the negativity while it's small because if you wait till the weeds get big it's so much harder to get rid of you know isn't that how life is the longer we let our bad habits go the harder it is to get rid of them when i'm out here in the garden all by myself i get to thinking a lot of things you know it's really so good for the soul you know so many of the poets of the 17th century talked about the garden and the garden of life and it's so metaphoric for our souls and even if you have just a pot with some dirt in it, it can make an amazing difference in your life. Just getting out and enjoying the sunshine. What you're seeing here is all kinds of things. We have wild violets. We have some tea. This is grapefruit tea in here. We have just so much stuff. It's bursting with life. But we have to, we have to weed everything. And let me show you why. So we have mugwort growing here. Well, this mugwort has got to be pulled out or it will take over the whole garden. And so we have to pull all of this mugwort out. And last year, I just let things go more than I should have. So now this year, I have an extra amount of work to do. But this is all oregano here, and you don't want to have the mugwort in with the oregano. And over here, I have rhubarb. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to harvest it. Now, this rhubarb isn't very pretty. It's not the dark red, but I ordered the dark red. So I'll have two different kinds of rhubarb. And it's actually starting to go to seed head, which you don't want. So we have to pull all the seed heads out of it. Wow, it looks so much better already. So we went down on the right side, now we're gonna go down on the left side. Well everyone, I'm almost finished here. We'll go take these up to the chickens and they'll have a delightful supper tonight. <laughs> I don't think there's any place finer than to be in an herb garden. <sighs> I could sit here the rest of my life and just be content as can be. All right, I hear you. Gardening is a lot of hard work, but just because you don't have a garden in your front yard or your backyard doesn't mean that you can't garden at all. In fact, you can garden just about anything using pots. Now, these kind of pots I got at the Dollar Tree, which was an amazing buy, but you don't have to even buy pots. Look around and see what you have at your home that you can no longer use. Like maybe an old roast pan that got all rusted and dingy, or maybe it had a hole in the bottom of it. All of these kind of things you can recycle, repurpose, and reuse. And it's so much fun. So now I'm going to plant some of my very special herbs and special flowers in these pots. When they get to be this high, then I will transplant them out into the garden or somewhere else. I will not keep them in the pots, most likely. I may keep some in these, but something like this, I probably will repot it, but I don't always do that. What you're going to see on my deck is all different kinds of ways that you can use things that were thrown away. You can get really resourceful. How about using an old Weber grill, turning that into beautiful planters? I turned it into two of them. The lid of the Weber grill, I turned into a planter over there, and the bottom of it, I turned into a planter over here. And I'll show you that in just a moment. But now I'm gonna plant some of these. I'm really into really unique plants. The older I get and the more into gardening I get, the more interested I am. How about the marigold, the lemon gem, which actually smells like lemon. And the black pansy, I have to get this started because this you can make jelly and jams with it. I'm super duper excited about that. This is gonna be a lot of fun. And then we have the coxcomb and this is Thomas Jefferson. People have asked me where I'm getting these seeds. This is Monticello, they have a website Thomas Jefferson's 
the place where he lived. It's Monticello and it is a website. And he has, they have all kinds of seeds that came from Thomas Jefferson. So these are really unique. They aren't cheap, but I'm gonna be saving my own seeds. So in the long run, it will save me a lot of money. I'm not gonna show you planting that because I've shown you so many other things, but I really wanted to start with the golden yarrow. I have the white yarrow, which is beautiful and it's medicinal. I want the golden yarrow to have it as dried arrangements for in the winter time. So I'm gonna work on these. I won't show you me doing it because I have so many videos of me planting stuff and it can be rather boring, but I'll show you at the end my deck and how everything looks. So keep watching. Don't you turn that video off, not yet. We've only just begun. So at the end of the day, the question is, you're hot, you're tired, you're dirty. Why bother? Why bother with all that gardening work? What's in it for me or what's in it for you? And you know what? There's a lot of things to be said about gardening. No matter if you're gardening in a garden that has an acre of land or you're gardening just using some containers and you're planting things. It is said that people who garden or people who plant things live longer. It's also said that gardening can help with people with depression, help with people with anxiety, and the dirt. The actual dirt itself helps balance you. Walking barefoot, they say grounds you, it helps you, it helps take care of your needs that you need. We are humans and the soil, even the smell of soil is amazing. Okay, maybe I'm a little bit exaggerated on that, but you know what? I do love the smell of soil. And in the winter time, everything's so bleak and cold. I just long for the springtime and the summertime where I can get outside and I can just uh, sit. Even if I just sit in the garden and not do anything, it's so refreshing. It replenishes your soul. And so gardening, no matter what form you do it in, it's beneficial to you in many ways. Your heart will thank you for it, your mind will thank you for it, and your spirit will surely thank you for it. I hope that my video gives you a sense of peace and well-being, and I hope you enjoy following with me day to day, every single day of my life's diary. I hope you're enjoying more of my videos in storyline, sharing with you from the very early morning to when I'm finished filming. It's a little bit of a different technique, but I'm enjoying it and I think it gives you a better glimpse of my life here on my little homestead. Micro farming, gardening, whatever you want to call it, it all is one thing, happiness. Pure bliss is what I say. Take care everyone and like I always say, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Mwah. Bye everybody. <laughs> Oh, I'm so dirty. Now I gotta figure out how am I gonna clean up before I get in the house. <laughs> Days like these, I'm just having so much fun. Yeah. After all this time, my life is complete. Really, it is.